Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the MC Tennis plugin. So this is a really awesome mini game which as you can tell by the name recreates tennis in Minecraft. Now it's brought to you by the same developer who created Block Ball which is like a football type mini game which I've done in a previous video, you can check that out. And now we have a tennis version. So this involves at least two players, um, unfortunately it's just me here, but you can have uh, doubles if you would like as well. So what we're going to do is show you how to set it up and let's just jump into it. So if we do forward slash MC tennis help, that is going to show us all of the commands. Now the first thing we want to do is create one by doing forward slash MC tennis create. We're going to call it something, so I'm going to call it arena one and then we need to give it a display name, so I'm going to call it court2 as the other one I created was called court1 and then what we can do is MC tennis list this is going to list all of the ones you've created now the one I was testing with is enabled and people can join and play however we need to set a few different locations for our brand new one so next we're going to set all of the different locations we're going to start in the lobby with the leave location and the way we do this is for slash MC tennis location and then it's arena one followed by the type. So leave is the first one we're going to do. So when people leave the arena, they get teleported here. And then we're going to set the lobby for both teams. And the way we do that is repeat the command, but put lobby and then red with a capital R and then do the same for blue. If I don't put a capital, it's going to show you that it's an error and we didn't set it properly. So there we go, we set both locations and then we need to hop onto the tennis court and set six in here. So the first one we're going to set is the spawn point. So this is going to be spawn for red one. And then over here we are going to do spawn blue and that's going to be number one. And then we need to set the dimensions of the court by doing arena one and then corner. And this is going to be blue one go to the opposite corner diagonally and this is going to be blue two. And then we can repeat this for the red side as well. Make sure you're including those capitals. And then your chat window should look like this with it saying location set successfully with all the coordinates and everything. The last thing we need to do is forward slash MC tennis toggle for arena one. And that will enable it, reload it. And then if we do MC tennis list, that shows both are in fact enabled. So now that we've toggled it on and it has been reloaded, we can do four slash MC tennis join followed by arena one. And it's going to put us in the red team lobby spawn that we set. And then obviously if we were to then leave the arena, we get toggled to our leave point that we set. So that is how you would set up a game. Obviously you need at least two people to be able to play it. Uh, but that is what you do in game. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there's a couple folders and one config file. There's very little in here. You can set the language and then it shows the usage commands when you don't have permission. And then if we go into the arena folder it's going to show all of the arenas we've created plus a sample one. If we go into arena one which we just created you can see the name, display name enabled, max players and min players per team the time to start and all of the points that we set. And then obviously you can set particular commands if you want players to get rewards or something like that when they win. And then you've got all the information about the balls. So each court could be slightly different. One could have a faster velocity and spin than the others. And then you've got the sound effects down at the bottom. And here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to 1.20 and if we look over here it was released only a couple weeks ago so it's a very new plugin. Here are some screenshots to show you what it looks like. So there is a proper tennis ball and you have a spade as a racket. And then if you want more information go to the wiki link over here and it's got loads of great stuff that you can look at. But if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.